how's it going guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to discuss a very big problem in paladins in my opinion one that i find both horrifying yet amusing so i guess you could say it's only going to get worse from here if left unresolved now it's not the non-existent matchmaking in casual or the spike fetish of evil mojo's thunderbrush actually that's my next video it's in fact what i like to call the ugly faces of the realm. But seriously though, have any of you guys ever wondered or really glanced at the ugly champions in the paladins world? So I want to start this video off by taking a look at our worst offenders, or should I say our most unfortunate champions. So what better way to get this turd face party started without the one and only Sharlin? Now my Asian brother from another mother has been pretty unfortunate in this game ever since the days of the beta. I'm not sure if Evil Mojo has something against Asians in general or just doesn't know how to model a handsome Asian male character, but Shaolin is by far the best example of an ugly male champion. I mean, look at these concept art and champion art. He almost looks like a yellow Simpsons character with a jawline worse than Sylvester Stallone. He's pretty much the reject of the Wu Empire from Dynasty Warriors and Aladdin's ugly twin brother. So it gets even worse when we check out his in-game model. <laughs> so this Prince of Persia wannabe in my opinion needs a major overhaul to his design. So maybe Ying will even stop self-destructing. So what's even funnier about this is that Shaolin is now the butt of jokes and endless memes from this to this. And to be fair, even I thought he looked like Nicolas Cage when I first started playing in open beta. And now he's also been acknowledged as a meme in-game, so it's no wonder his play count has decreased immensely. Um, the good news though is that he is now playable, either as a Hanzo ripoff or with this skin. So thank you to whoever it was in Evil Mojo who designed and green-lighted this wonderful paper bag. So now he's playable. Actually, well not really, his DPS is still low AF. Anyway, it's time to clean our eyes and look at an actual nice Charlin artwork. That's better. While we're in a roll roasting ugly Asian champions, seriously what's with Koga's face? This cool buff ninja somehow made it into the game with eyeliner or something. Um, thanks Evil Mojo, we've also wanted to play as a badass ninja and they're so much cooler with eyeliner. Anyway, let's move on shall we? How about the one that shall never be named? So believe it or not, there was a champion in the game once named Eevee. She needs new skin, yes, but hey, thanks Evil Mojo for keeping her nice and pretty. All five Weeb Eevee players surely agree. I don't know if you guys remember, Evil Mojo almost killed her off at one point as well, when someone in the studio thought it was a good idea to stretch out her face and make her look like a blue-haired children's cartoon character. But nonetheless, it's great to see Eevee has maintained her nice looks, and thanks again for fighting for the waifus, guys. Now onto the positive side, one champion who's gotten a nice new bod is our totem boning master of lightning blue shrek. So fortunately according to the lore, evil mojo has suggested that grok has suddenly been hitting the gym in his man cave and is now the most ripped thunder god in the realm. So he basically went from full et retard to tribe bachelor and of course he doesn't wear a shirt, I mean who would when you have those six pack abs so we can thank thunderbrush for that. I guess the following you could say is subjective, but I just want to bring to Evil Mojo's attention that there are still a few familiar faces that still need some kind of facelift and retouching to reach Fernando's standards. So first off, let's go with Furia. For something about her in game model just seems off to me. I don't know if it's her face model, it seems to be missing something, but I can't quite point it out. Um, her concept art also doesn't do her any justice. You could also say her sister Ceres is also falling into this category. Ceres blindfolded is nice. Ceres unmasked, completely different story. Someone in Evil Mojo definitely needs to seriously learn to model faces. I mean, come on, why are all the faces in this game so bad? I'm wondering, is it the bad hair that's causing the issue? By the way, is Sky wearing a wig, guys? Like all of her hairstyles are also fake and inanimate and it looks like she might as well be a bald assassin or something. And or is it maybe lore related that they're just ugly in general in this realm universe? 
or is it maybe the makeup that's the problem? But seriously, <laughs> this is the funniest. When I heard Willow was getting a human form skin, I thought to myself, hell yes, we get a cute fairy Tinkerbell. Then Evil Mojo was like, yep, Willow's now a tramp. But and let's not forget this skin was also innocently called Sugar Plum Willow. Actually, now that I think about it, why are there all of a sudden so many tramps in the game? Like when did Pip have a sex change and turn into Pepper the Town Bicycle? But hey, let's move on, let's not hate on Evil Mojo here. All jokes aside, a lot of the champions in reality look great. So Leon looks great, Ying looks great, Fernando looks hot, we have that fish guy, and Victor looks, oh, 